there, I'm Jill Wellington, and today I'm going to show you how to spruce up your spring pictures using tree overlays. The one that I'm using is this one, and this is a beautiful flowering cherry tree, I believe. And it notice it has these little tiny squares in the background. That means that it has a transparent background, and you can very easily just drop the tree in. You can find this type of overlays online. You just type in PNG because those will have the transparent background and you can buy them. You can find them in on Etsy. Um, you can make them. I actually made this one. It is a little painstaking to make and get rid of all the background when it's really a you know tree branches that's hard to do so I actually made this one and I put it up for sale in my Etsy shop if you'd like to purchase this one I'll leave a link below but this is one that I'm going to be using today and it's very easy to add to a picture but this is a picture taken in a beautiful park near me and this whole upper corner of the picture is a little bit boring. I thought it needed a flowering tree. So we're going to add our flowering tree. So I just go up to this and hold down on my left mouse and I pull it out of that palette, go up to my move tool, very easily drag it into the picture and see nothing in the background. So that's pretty easy to do, isn't it? Oops, there it goes. Let me just get rid of this. But I'm on the move tool and I can move this tree anywhere I want it, but isn't that easy? So I'm going to put it, let's have it go a little bit over the hat. I could actually have it lower, but I'm going to put it about right here. And now this is really easy to go in and erase down here um, so you can see the flowers. So it looks like it's behind these flowers. Just go down right here and get a layer mask. Click on that. And it is a white layer mask, so we'll want to use our black brush. Toggle back and forth with these arrows until you get your black on top. Now go up and grab a brush and make sure that it is a soft brush. And it's at 100% opacity and 100% flow. Now I can go in a little closer here using my left or my right bracket key I can make this a little bit larger and we're just going to kind of blend this in and I'm going to bring my little tulips in front like that if you need to see better you can lower the opacity of the tree and look at this I can go ahead and bright bring in these little tulips so that looks realistic like it's bright and these tulips are in front of the tree then just bring the opacity back up again and that looks good now the one thing that you do have to pay careful attention to is the fact that this is in great focus and I use a low depth of field so everything in this area is blurred so let's blur the tree a little bit we'll go up to filter go to blur go down to Gaussian blur and let's just bring this up to kind of match where it is in the picture and I think that looks good so now it's a little bit blurred like the background also when I try to integrate a, a new thing into the picture I lower the opacity just a tad and it seems to blend better so I'm going down to about 86 on that and now I can just go ahead and flatten right click on the background layer go down to flatten and look at that I always add these these overlays before I do any editing on the picture so if I would add an action to this the whole picture including the tree will be part of that so I think you'll really enjoy using this kind of an overlay it's very simple it adds so much and look at that it looks like it's really there doesn't it so have a great time with this.